Good, Good morning, morning Plaza Tigers. Tigers. I'm Taylor from the Heroes. And I'm Casty from the Olympians. Today is January 9th, 2014. And, and it's, it's a party in purple day. Now let's raise the roof on over to the pledge. I'm Josh from the Thunderbirds. And I'm Ben from the Phoenix. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All that partying sure works up an appetite. What's for lunch today? Today's lunch choices are beef chili with Cheez-Its, Mr. Moe's favorite, and breaded mozzarella sticks. Side choices are peas and tossed salad, fresh pineapple, and sugar cookie. Premium meal is boneless chicken wings with mashed potatoes. Now, now it's time, time for Fleshy Thursday. How you doing on this first Thursday back from winter break? I hope your break was great. Mine was fantastic. I'm glad to be back. Glad to see all the Plaza students and staff and all their smiling faces. It's great to be back. We've got a lot of sports and we've got a lot of other people coming on this morning. The sports over winter break were phenomenal. So many great football games. So I'm going to go through a few of them as quick as I can. Mizzou beat Oklahoma State in the Cotton Bowl 41-31. Go Mizzou. K-State, you K-State Wildcat fans, Mrs. Schmid and Dr. Ivy, you guys thumped Michigan 31-14 in the Wild Wings Bowl. Nebraska fans, you upset Georgia, Mrs. Dittmer, I'm sorry, your Bulldogs lost. Mr. Reagan and Mr. Brown, they're really happy they won the Gator Bowl. The Rose Bowl, Michigan State beat Stanford in a thriller 24-20. Clemson over Ohio State in the Orange Bowl 40-35. Oklahoma upset Alabama in the Sugar Bowl, 45-31. The Fiesta Bowl, UCF shocked the Baylor Bears, 52-42. And the title game, maybe one of the best BCS title games, and it's the last BCS title game. Florida State, in the last minute, scored a touchdown to win 34-31. NFL was just as exciting. However, Chiefs fans, Packer fans, we came up a little short. Chiefs, you guys had a pretty big lead in the third, but couldn't quite hang on. You lost to Indianapolis Colts 45-44. New Orleans Saints kicked the last second field goal to beat Philly 26-24. San Diego upset Cincinnati in a big way 27-10. And like I said, my Packers lost to those Niners on a last second field goal 23-20. All right, let's see what the weather is like today. 36 degrees, a little cloudy, probably no precipitation. No more frigid negative temperatures. Look at that into tomorrow. Low 40s this weekend, 40s and 50s. Uh, we got some chance of some precipitation tomorrow. It looks like 70%, but it should be warm enough where there's no, uh, not a whole lot of accumulation. The weekend looks great, 40 degrees, 50 on Sunday, 49 on Monday. So we got some good temperatures coming this weekend and early next week. Birthdays, we only have a couple. Allison Helmer of the Novas and Parker Sauer. I don't know if I butchered that, Parker. I'm sorry, of the Phoenix. Get that birthday pencil at lunch because it is your birthday. And what is that birthday pencil up to today? Riding a unicorn. Well, Dr. Ivy, enjoy riding that unicorn. And we got some animations there. She's jumping on. She's getting ready to, to enjoy the ride on the unicorn. The weather is brought to you by Teacup Piggies. Teacup Piggies? That's pretty adorable, J. Crew. Teacup Piggies. I like it. All right, that was Fleshy Thursday with the little sports. Glad you're back. Plaza, have a great day, and as always, stay classy. I think we have some Stuco members coming on. I'm Maya from the Phoenix. I'm Sydney from the Novas. And I'm Destiny from the Phoenix. And we are your Stuco Rats. 
We're here to talk to you today about the third habit, put first things first. So put first things first means to do what you need to do before what you want to do. Here's an, <laughs> Here's an example. There's a test tomorrow, but you really want to go see the new movie, Catching Fire. Putting first things first would mean you would study for the test and then go to the movies. Here's a video to show the examples and the meanings of putting first things first. Plaza, always remember to put first things first. You're demonstrating responsibility when you do that. Our challenge for you is to have a whole class or team turn in their homework on time and have no missing work marks. Have, have a, a great, great day. day. Mr. Harvey, Mr. Robke, we have a couple of announcements for you. Mr. Robke first. Good morning, teachers. First off, there's a data meeting today, and there'll be an email coming out telling you what time to be there. So check that email here shortly. All right, that was announcements for teachers. Students, this one's for you. Tomorrow is pause. Do not forget, there is a concession stand. You only need to bring about $2, okay? You don't need much more than that. You don't need any more than that, as a matter of fact. Everything is nice and cheap. It's Plaza Middle School. We keep it low for you. Those of you that are learning about economics right now, you'll understand what we're talking about. Next on the slate, Mr. Robke. Hey, we have a big geography bee coming we up do. next week. Huge geography bee, January 14th at 3 o'clock. Tuesday. Tuesday in the library. And let me ask you, Mr. Robke, do you know the great city of Chicago is the Windy City? Do you know what lake? That city borders? Is that Lake Michigan? It is. He's correct. Hey. Look at that. If you can answer that question, you're in. I'm qualified. Hey, students, try and answer this one. And just say it out loud. What country is north of the United States? Did you say it? If you said Canada, you are qualified. Come to the geography beat. Now, here's how you get in. We have a permission slip in my room, room 507, just... Uh, have a teacher send one of you down and I can give several to one one student at a time and then uh, you'll basically take that permission slip get it signed what it says is that we do not provide transportation home that night so if you want to be in the geography B your parent has to be able to come at four o'clock pick you up and drive you home with your winning certificate so be ready for that be ready have fun we're gonna have a great time Tuesday January 14th have your own ride home geography B be there. I believe Dr. Ivy is next. No, I, no, I, no she is not. Yearbook meets next Wednesday, which is January 15th. Remember, pause is tomorrow, so bring money if you would like to get something at concessions. 
Don't forget, the 2013 Plaza Geography Bee will be held after school on January 14th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the library. You must have your own transportation home that day. Save the date. Plaza's annual family fun night will be held the evening of February 13th from 5 to 7.45. There will be tons of fun activities for you and your family to enjoy. Including the electricity excitement of Volts and Jolts by Science City and the unbelievable, unbelievable magic performed by Reggie the Magician. More information will be coming soon. You won't want to miss it. Let's make today count. It's a, a great, great day to be a tiger. Rawr.